It has been brought to my attention that Twitter user Senior Don Parody, aka at Scared Ketchup, may soon be served with a cease and desist order in regards to his AI generated comedy videos featuring hyper realistic depictions of certain American political figures. I will be representing this mentally challenged, marijuana abusing maverick in this clear attempt to restrict his God given right to freedom of speech. And you can bet my forehead that I am not alone in my defense of this semi autistic, mouth breathing firebrand. We Republicans will fight to the death to protect all Americans' rights to freedom of speech, no matter how they roast and humiliate us, even if we feel they sometimes go too far, like Mr. Parody did in this video depicting me as the new wife of that trigger-happy D-bag, Kyle Rittenhouse. That one kind of stung. I also have been the target of Mr. Parody's spot on political humor videos, like the one where fake AI-generated President Trump says that his pick for vice president is between me and Satan. Did I think it was funny? Not in the slightest. Will I stand up for his right to continue making his videos? Absolutely. I myself have had the pleasure of appearing in a few of Mr. Parody's delightful comedy skits, like this one where he made it appear as though I was in a comedy act and perhaps even a same-sex relationship with none other than George Santos. But just to be perfectly queer, I mean clear, I laughed my AI-generated ass off when I saw this one. It's a real humdinger, believe you me. Mother got so mad that I was making such a ruckus that she made me sleep in the tool shed. But it was worth it, because God damn it, free speech is worth it. Breathe, bitch. I'm a little disabager. Go, 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 go. Hello, it's me, AI-generated Elon Musk, galactic overlord of the internet. I just have uh, two things to say to all the Republicans complaining that Senor Don Parody, AKA, at Scared Ketchup's Twitter videos are too uh, realistic and might confuse some of their constituents. First off, perhaps get smarter constituents. And second, please remember, you wanted free speech. You demanded free speech and you got free speech. So be careful what you wish for, you silly little freaks. Excuse me, Elon, why is it exactly that I, Ron DeSantis, have to play the scantily clad female in this scene? Quite frankly, it's degrading. Yo, Princess Meatball, consider it uh, taking one for the free speech team. This totally sucks. Overlord out.